joining me and welcome to all the new subscribers now guys in today's video I want to show you guys how to DIY a drawstring bag now what I'm gonna be doing for this video is this bag is a drawstring bag that a client of mine as you guys can see it's pretty much ruined it has I've already like tried to repair this for my client already and it the, the type of material is just it's very thin as you guys can see just how how it is it's very thin so he gave it to me and asked me if I could just make one for him but what he wants is to have this particular um, thing on it on the new one that I'm going to be making for him so what I'm gonna do is to take this off and use it as a pocket and put it onto the new one that I'm about to make but I'm still going to be using this dimension and it's going to look pretty much the same but instead of having it plain on it like this I'm going to be using this logo as a packet so he kind of has the, the like two separate so you would have the packet on the front of it and then the inside of the bag just the same but guys I'm gonna be using back the straps as well and I'm going to be using half inch grommets so guys take a look at this you guys can see that it's grommets and you guys if you want to know how to um, insert a grommet I'm not gonna be showing you guys how I insert a grommet into this bag I'm just gonna be putting it in but you guys can always check out the video I probably I'll put a link in the description box so you guys can see how to um, insert grommets the ones that I did was for the top of a, um, of a rucksack bag but it's the same method that is used to put in pretty much all grommets of that size I'm gonna be using a half inch grommet now Things that you'd really and truly need for um, a bag like this would be the strings and the material itself. Now guys, look at the end of this. You actually have like a little triangle thing here and basically this little triangle thing here that is on board is to anchor the grommet and to help with the strength of the bag. So what I'm going to do is to make two little i'm just gonna cut a square and cut it in half and make two little triangles to go on both ends of the bag to anchor the grommet so the measurement of the bag guys is um the finishing measurement is 60 wide by 22 by 20 sorry that's the finish 16 wide by 20 so the materials that I cut both back and front was 17 wide by so 17 wide by 22 inches long and the reason why I did 22 inches wide you're going to need a one inch fold at the top to pass the string the string through I'm going to be doing an inch and a half because I know that the, the material that I'm using is a little bit thicker than this um, you guys can see it's you can't see through it like the next like this one and also I'm going to be needing a half inch allowance at the bottom so the pieces that you're going to need again you're going to need two 17 inches wide because the finishing is 16 so when you're cutting for sewing 17 wide so you need two pieces of that 17 wide by 22 inches long so I have my two pieces here and you're going to need four of these little triangle pieces that you're going to be putting on to the edge of the part where you're going to be inserting the grommet and in order to get this all you're going to be doing guys is to make some four by four inches wide squares I'm trying to let you guys see so you're going to do some four by four inches wide squares and you're just gonna cut them in half so you're just gonna do two or two of it and you cut it in half so you will end up with your four pieces and aside from that what I did was for the pocket now 
this that I'm going to be using for the packet it's 10 inches by 7 inches now I'm going to go a little bit over like half inch on on each half inch right around it so what I did was to get a thicker piece of material because this is so thin so I got a thicker piece of material and I didn't make it black like the bag. I did a contrasting color so the inside of the pocket will have a different look aside from being black like the fabric that I'm going to be using. So here I have a dark blue and I cut 11 because this is 10 this way. So I cut 11 and this is 7 this way. So I cut 9 actually because I'm going to be put putting in a zipper I want to have an inch allowance up at the top but half inch all the way around on the sides and on the bottom and for the top of what would be the pocket I have the black which would match back with this and also will match somewhat with this but to line the inside again I have this and this is 11 by 3 inches so let me take the camera down and show you all the pieces so you guys can have a better look because this is pretty simple I'm going to be assembling the pieces and I'm going to show you guys step by step how you can do this so let me show you the individual pieces that you're going to be needing for this project a little bit up closer Okay guys, so these are the pieces that you're going to be needing again. This is going to line the inside of the pocket and this is going to be the top. And this is going to be on the outside and this is going to line the inside of it just to give the inside of the bag a different. I didn't want it to be black. And of course, this, you just get a 4x4 four four inch square. You cut it in two and you'll get the pieces which would go on to the back and the front. And these are the two pieces that you're going to be needing. So these are again 17 inches wide and 22 inches long you're going to lose a half inch allowance at the bottom and an inch and a half at the top so you'll get back your 20 inch finish and you will also get back your 16 inch finish when you're finished sewing so these little pieces you're just gonna take them and sew them on to the edge of these and the first thing that you would do when you're sewing is to find it like that. You stitch this way and then fold it over like so. Give it a flat stitch again and stitch this way. But what I'm going to do guys for the pockets, for the pockets here, I'm going to be taking this bag and I'm going to take it apart. So what I'm going to do is cut all the way around here so for the top I'm giving an inch and for here I'm going to take half an inch all the way around for the sides only the top is going to have one inches and I'm going to be using back the strings so let's get into the video okay guys so the first thing that I'm going to do is to remove the strings so I just loosed one of the, the knot and I'm going to pull the string through because guys I'm going to use um, the strings again. I'm going to use back the strings so just removing those. So you have two strings and you're going to take these and put them one side because you're going to use them. As it relates to the rest of this bag, the only other thing that I'm going to need from this bag is this particular pattern and all I'm going to do is around here I'm going to measure half inch let me see if I can get I'm going to use a chart for the purpose of the video and I'm using like a normal chart that like writes on so I'm using a chart and I'm going to get a half inch going around here Okay guys, I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to go ahead and cut out the pocket of this. Um, I just want to cut around the pattern. Okay guys, so I am finished cutting this out. So what I'm going to do is to take this, I'm going to place it down onto this. Now guys, this is a thicker fabric and it is going to be the lining for this. So what I'm going to do is to ensure that this piece 
is half inch smaller than this one all the way around so I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to cut cut down it's pretty much the same so I'm going to cut down a little so let me cut down a little on this side here the reason why you're doing this is guys the, the lining piece I always 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 make it like sometimes not even half inch smaller sometimes quarter of an inch smaller but this particular fabric is so thin so I much prefer going like say half inch or so smaller only because it would make get a better grip um, this is not half inch let me do this side and I'm gonna take the camera closer for you guys to see what it is that I'm doing you guys so I want you guys to pay attention usually when I'm doing a pocket I try to make the lining piece of the fabric a little bit because you can see the space that I have so when I center this going all the way around I'm gonna have it a little bit more but what happened is this fabric is so thin I want to be able to get a good grip now when I'm sewing it all I'm gonna be doing is to stretch this fabric and it would end up going back down so even though it's a little bit smaller I'm gonna be stretching this one and it will be able to pull in this now when I finish so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about so this would end up being a little bit smaller and this would kind of have like a little fold over so when I do the put on the, the zipper you don't see this part grinning get grinning through anyways guys let's put that aside now what the next thing that I'm gonna do for the hair is on the back and the front all of these little pieces the first sewing that is going to be done is to ensure that you have these stitched down and the way how you stitch these is you put it like this and you you tilt it just a little over the edge you see that just a little then you're going to take whatever it is that you are using and you're going to make a little mark here after you've made the mark you're going to fold this back over here and you're going to stitch following the mark that you just did after you stitch that you're going to fold it over like so give it a flat stitch going down on the same stitch that you just did and then stitch these down so I'm gonna do these and come back and show you guys but that would be the first thing that you would do before you do anything else okay guys so I went ahead and I put on all four of them so this is what they look like so let's go I stitched it as I said I would and then I fold it over and did the flat stitch so you guys can see the flat stitch there and then I stitched it down so this is what the back of it would look like right now you're going to move these out of the way a little bit and what you're going to do is to bring the pocket part into focus and for the pockets as I said earlier you need this part of it to be a little bit smaller than this so what you're going to do is you're going to put your right side facing up now the part that is going to show on the inside of the pocket for this, this has a sheen, this has a right side and a wrong side. So you're going to put right side facing each other. So this is what you're going to have it like. And if you center it, you will see that you actually have one looking a bit smaller. So this one is a little bit, this which is the lining is a bit smaller than this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the sewing machine and I'm going to sew going all the way around all four edges but while I'm doing that I'm going to start sewing from here so I'm going to place both of them starting from the top but as I am sewing coming all the way down I am going to pull this going this way I'm gonna pull this part I'm not gonna be pulling this 
I'm going to be pulling this part as I'm sewing and as a result it's going to end up with this falling exactly where it should but what I'm going to do is to sew the tops first the top first the bottom first and I'm going to do the same thing by pulling pulling in the meantime that I'm sewing and then I'll do the sides but I'm going to take it back and show you guys before I turn it over to show you what effect you're going to be getting okay guys so what I did was I stitched for the top part of the pocket and the, the bottom okay so this is what this side is going to look like now remember I said you guys when you're sewing you're going to be stretching this part not the black part the blue which would be the lining but this is what it let me show you the other side this is what it would end up looking like and this is on the wrong side so you see it kind of have like a curve over and that is what is going to hide the blue part so when I flip it onto the right side the blue part will not be grinning through and showing once I am ready to fit up the packet now I did the top of it as well and you guys can see how that in the same method you pull you allow it to be a little bit smaller than the black part and you pull this as you go and go along and this is what now what is going to happen is that you're going to have all of the little extra space and it's going to fall and this is going to be for the part this at this part I'm going to insert the zipper and likewise where I have this this is where I'm going to insert the zipper as well when I turn it over but the next step of this would be to at the bottom part of it what you're gonna do is to fold it in a triangular like so and you want to make sure that you catch this seam here and this seam and it's best to tuck it like with a needle and thread and then you're going to be pinning that and sewing across here and you do it to both edge of the bottom of the pocket and here as well opposite to where you have this part so you're going to be using these edges and you're going to be doing the same thing you are going to be turning it into a little triangular space like this you get the pin you pin it or if you want to tuck each seam so you tuck this seam to this seam the middle of it so that it will fall right in the seam and you give the stitch going right across here and you want to measure them so if you're going to if your seam is going to pan out at um, say two and a half inches across you do the same thing to both pieces but I'm gonna do it and show you guys before I turn it over and also before I actually cut it okay guys so this is what you're gonna basically have you're going to have just stick a pin there and then you're gonna stitch across here but guys you're gonna have a little hole here so you can look in just to make sure that each of the seams meet right in the center before you go ahead and cut it because you're gonna be cutting it off so that it would fall properly and I'm doing the same thing for this one so I'm gonna go over the sewing machine and stitch them and then I'll take them back and show you guys who I'm going to be putting on the zipper okay guys so I went ahead and I did the stitches going across the bottoms so what I'm gonna do is to use the scissors and snip off and just leave like say quarter inch of this so I'm just gonna snip off all four edges and then I'm gonna turn it on the right side through this little hole here okay guys so this is what the top would look like and this is the reason why I wanted to make this part a little bit smaller now you guys you can see how it basically folds in and you have the black covering all the edges so take a look at the bottom part and you see how the black part kind of folds on to the edge so when I turn it over this way you won't see the blue part poking out at the edges and that's the whole point about making whatever you're using for the lining a little bit smaller and then stretch it so it still reaches at each ends and at the same time it basically folds inwards so those are the two these are the two pieces 
this is going to be the top and the bottom and you guys can see that I captured the design properly you guys can see what the folds look like so what we're gonna do now here I have the zipper that I'm going to use and the slide so I'm just going to be going over to the sewing machine and I'm going to be stitching this I actually just tuck this with thread to bind the edge of it now I'm going to be stitching two rows I'm going to be using two rows of stitches here so I'm going to tuck it on and do two rows here and I'm going to do the same thing with this as well two rows at the edge and I'm going to take it back and let you guys have a look at it okay guys so this is what the pocket is now looking like as you can see when the zipper is on so this is the pocket now and see how I did the edges there you go so what I'm gonna do now is I'm taking one piece of the two big pieces that I cut so I'm using this part for the front I'm just moving from the glare of the sunlight and what I'm gonna do is to measure from the bottom here upwards um, four inches up and then I'm gonna be putting it on usually I use two or three inches but this is very long so I'm going to use 4 inches, also the, the sewing allowance is going to come off as well. So I'm going 4 inches up from the bottom, upwards, and I'm just going to center it in the middle. And then I'll take it back and show you guys once I have it put on. So I'm just going to stitch the bottom and stitch going around. But I'm going to find the center and sew it on. And then I'll show you guys how the front of it will be looking okay guys so I went ahead and I put it on so that's it and this is what it's looking like now what I'm gonna do guys for here for both of the top I'm gonna turn it on what would be the wrong side and I'm going to turn just an um two inches of this and I'm just gonna give it a little stitch in on both corners now this is just to prevent the raw edges and then I'm going to give it an inch and a half full I'm just gonna turn it on to like quarter inch and I'm gonna stitch that going out for both of them okay guys so what I did was to go ahead and stitch up at the top so this is the front and this is the back part of it so this is what it looks like on the wrong side now guys remember we're just making a simple drawstring bag so as a result I'm not going to be lining the inside of it what I'm gonna do is to show you a method that you can use to bind the edges now I'm f um, well, let me put back this down this way so this is the right side clearly so you're going to take this piece which is the back and you're going to be laying it over and you're going to have right side facing each other so the wrong sides would be up and what you're gonna do is lay them down on each other pin because you need to hold them in place pin right around and guys you're gonna be doing this all the way around now if you have binding something to bind all the way around feel free to do that and you're going to be stitching as close as you can to here now this is just to hold them in place and I'm gonna take it back and show you guys the next step okay guys so what I did was just to stitch all the way around this thing now let me back out a bit so you guys can see so I stitched all the way around and I tried to get as close to the edge as I could now what you're gonna be doing is from here you guys can see what I did I fold it over so I basically fold fold like this and then fold again and I'm gonna be stitching as close as I can to the edge now that is going to make the edge of it stiff um, as well as it's going to kind of hide all of the raw edges but the thing about it it's not just to um, 
prevent the ravel by hiding the raw edges but also it just helps to it's like it's, it's very similar to like using um, binding so I'm just gonna go and stitch it and then I'll show you guys alright okay guys so I'm finished with it now let me give it a little close up so you guys can see what I did with it so I fold it over and stitched it so this is what it looks like and I did that going all the way around it the bottom and the two sides let me turn it over the other side so you guys can see and that is done all the way around it so in terms of the sewing guys we are finished with all the sewings the next thing that I'm gonna do is turn it onto the right side and insert the grommets and then we're gonna draw the string through the edges are looking like you guys can see just how neat that is looking all right so this is the bag so what I'm gonna do right now is to insert the grommets now guys again I'm gonna leave a link in the description box you guys can go there check out how to insert a grommet but I'm basically going to be using this now guys you remember this set that I purchased off of Amazon and it came with the little board that part this and this now these are actually got at pings the ones that came with the set originally they're all finished now I'm going to use this pierce the holes through on both both ends both ends of the bag and then I'm going to oh, how do you set this again you set this like that you put this little piece so you would put the fabric over after you've pierced the hole you put this little piece and top but this the part of the bag that is going to be showing the part that is going to be for the front you're going to be placing it down because this would be what would be at the front so it would be like this and then remember the hole would have been put pierced and then I would put this over it and then this and then knock it uh, in a circular motion all the way around and the grommet would be inserted you guys check out the video on how to insert a grommet I'll link it in the description box but I'm gonna go and insert them now and I'll come back and show you the next step okay guys so this is what the edges looks like now that I've inserted the grommet so you see I've inserted it on both sides so I'm going to push the strings through so let me set the camera up and I'll show you guys how to insert the strings okay okay guys so what I'm gonna be showing you all guys is really really simple you're going to take a pin and you're just gonna be hooking one end of one of the strings so let me move the other string out of the way and this is something that you actually have to know how to do so what you're gonna do is to get one of the opening and you're going to take the pin and you're going to shub it through going in one direction so this is how I have it and I'm just going in this direction with one end of the string you're gonna take it after you take it through the first you're going to take it and you're gonna go around through the other part so this is it you're going now through the other part going back in the direction that you came from um, you're going to repeat the same step to the next one but you want to do one first and I'm gonna show you guys you're going to do the one tie it and then you do the same thing to the next one so you push it through and now you have both you can remove the pins at this point so you remove the pin and here you have the strap going in one direction so what you do is you get the ends of both of them you even it out so you even make sure it's even and you would take it and the side that it's at you're going to shub it through 
Now in this case, you're going to shove it through on the back. You can see I'm working for the back. So you shove it through this way. So it's like this. And you give it a tie. You can tie it two times if you want to. I'm just going to give it one tie because um, the grommet is... The grommet that I use is not that big so it won't pull through. So you knot it and you pull it up. And just like that, this is what the finished thing would look like. So I'm going to do the next one again. You're going to do the same thing with the pin. You're going to hook one end. And you're going to start from the opposite side. You're going to start insert it from the opposite side. Because whatever end you start from, that's the end that you're going to be finishing at. So you're going to be going from the opposite side. So here you have the side that you just did. You're going to start inserting from this side. This. And you're going to be pushing it through. Now, guys, be sure not to let the strings intertwine with each other as I've been go underneath each other while you're doing it. This one, you're just going to slide it on top of the, the, uh, the string that you already pushed through. So this one is going on top. And you're just going through that. Now when you get to this point, you're going to continue by pushing it through the other side as well. So you take it, you push it through the other side as well. Basically all you're doing is repeating the same step, but you're just doing it on opposite side. So remember guys, it's very simple. You're just going around, but you're just going in different directions. So whatever side that you start pushing the string through that's the side that you're going to end up and that is the side that you end up getting the um the first strap then because when they go together you know they form they form a strap and again you can see this is where i started from and this is where i'm finishing it so you now have the strap for the next side and again, you even it out, you find it even, and again, you're working from the back, so you'll be pushing it from the back. So let me do it this way. You'll be pushing it from the back. I'm just knotting that, and there you have a drawstring bag, guys. This is basically it. Your bag is finished so i'm gonna put it up so you guys can have a, a better look at it but that is it you will have your own customized drawstring bag okay guys so this is the bag um just a simple drawstring bag but you guys know you know how to create your own pocket and i hope this video was very useful to you guys i hope you all enjoyed the video don't forget to check out all of my other videos and yeah guys this is very simple very easy i actually just put some newspapers in it just to give it a little bit of a different look trying to get like the different sides so you guys can see it but that is it and now you guys know how to create your own pocket and put it on Ah, but yeah, guys, this is it basically. So, I hope you all enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment and let me know what you think about this video. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Bye, guys.